So you want to store your rotary car for winter? I get that. It's a smart move. If you're like me, then you're dumb, stupid, ugly, useless, NOT GOOD FOR ANYTHING STUPID AND UGLY But if you're not like me, you're just looking to get some tips on how to store your rotary engine for winter. Whatever the case, here are some tips that'll help you on your journey. Washing your car is an important first step to storing your car. It helps protect your paint and keeps your car looking good for the long months ahead of it. Even if you're storing your car indoors, a car cover is a good idea. Dust may be harmless, but the less stuff touching your car, the better. If it's going in a barn, it'll help protect against any critters walking on your paint and scratching it up. Other basic precautions should be taken, such as pulling the battery, placing the car on jack stands if you actually care about your tires, and making sure there's coolant in the cooling system to prevent freezing and cracking. Adding stable to your gas helps keep the gas fresh and protect against your injectors and fuel lines getting gunky or clogged. You should add it to a full tank and run the engine for at least 5 minutes beforehand to get it through the system. You'll also want to keep your gas tank as full as possible to keep it from rusting on the inside. Alright, so here's where it gets different for rotaries as opposed to piston engines. A good thing to do is purchase a can of fogging oil or fogging spray, or you can use WD-40 as well. Pull one of the spark plugs out of each of the housings and spray some of it into the housing. Then take a 19mm socket at the end of the eccentric shaft to spin the engine manually. Once you hear a loud puff, spray more oil in. This is now coating the next side of the rotor. You'll do this three times a housing for each side of the rotor. The fogging oil will help protect the apex seals and rotor from freezing or rusting to the housings. While it may seem like a low chance, take a look at these photos. It's a good idea to coat any moving metal part, such as the throttle cable connections, in a layer of WD-40. Yeah, it might make your engine bay a little bit dirty, but all you need to do is take it to the car wash in the spring and you'll be fine. The WD-40 helps prevent rust from forming on the linkages and freezing them in place. So if you decide to drive your rotary through the winter, I totally understand that. They're fun cars and you can pretty much drift any corner. But if you decide to store it like I did, I hope these tips helped you, and if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please leave it in the comment section down below. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to rate the video, comment on the video, and subscribe if you really liked it. Take care, guys. I, I, I,